Hi, welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and run your uh, sublimation uh, printer from BCH. Uh, so basically, you have a printer, a power core, and uh, you have a nozzle check for the for the data we ship the printer. So everything is tested working. And also you have a information sheet for all the links that you're gonna need. And then we also give you a, a pack of uh, uh, sample papers. And also we give you a mouse pad for you to try it for the first time. Okay, so after you receive it, you can open up the, the ink tank and uh, now slowly remove the plug. So if you at a high altitude area such as Denver, so your, your tank may be pressurized. You can have a piece of paper towel and uh, use the paper towel to cover the plug, then remove it. All you need to remove is the small plug. Do not remove the big plug. And then now you can put this back. You can save those plugs for later on if you need to move the printer for a different location. Next thing we do is uh, we're going to plug in the power. You can use a USB connection or you can set up the network. To set up the Wi-Fi, you press that network button here on the screen. And you're going to see the Wi-Fi set up. And the Wi-Fi set up a wizard. So next thing we do is uh, we're going to install the Epson software. So we just use this link. And we screw down. And the only thing we need is driver and utilities. We will not need the firmware for firmware update at all. Uh, so now uh, you can select whether you want a direct USB connection or you want to use the wireless. Uh, caution is for this model. Sometimes you cannot pick it up from the wireless. So. Personally, I prefer just plugging a cable into USB. Uh, if there's a window pops up, ask you if you want to auto update. Uh, you select do not auto update. Adding ink is easy. When the ink come down to about this level, just open up the ink tank and uh, unplug the big plug and then uh, just add ink to it and then put a big plug back and uh, put the tank back. Uh, right now the real ink level is how much ink level in the tank. So, so this ink level uh, doesn't make sense anymore. However, it's uh, still keep going. It's going to have air pop up so you're low on ink. So just if it says that, just ignore it. Just keep printing. Just say, okay, dismiss that uh, window. So other than that, then you're gonna have, eventually you're gonna have an uh, uh, error message says that the uh, cartridge cannot be detected. So the cartridge, cartridge or cartridge is missing. That's when, uh, when you actually need to reset ink level. So what you do is, uh, you do a cartridge, cartridge replacement. So you go to here, maintenance, and you press ink cartridge replacement. And uh, it'll ask you to press the color button and uh, put your hands on the side or open the door. And uh, this is the reset button. Do not take this thing out because we already configured everything. It takes a while to make everything perfect. So you don't want to touch any tubing or anything. 
just press and hold down this button for a little bit, like two or three seconds. And release it. For all the third-party cartridges, Epson will throw this uh, uh, through this error as that those are not Epson cartridge and uh, then do you still want to use it? And you just say okay, 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 and uh, that's it. Now we're gonna print a sample. The printer's color is managed by ICC profiles. Management. There are the first two levels level of management. At the, printer level. the lower level is the, the printer. Uh, and the higher level you, is the, the second level is at the software. If the, self, if the software if doesn't the software, tell the printer, software how to doesn't the tell color, the printer, the printer which, level, then which color. Let's take a printing from Photoshop as an example. So we open up a picture and uh, in the Photoshop and go to print, and we see this screen. Here are the two sections. The top section is the printer, and the lower section is the software. From the software section, Photoshop lets you pick if you want to manage the color from a printer or the software. BCH inks use Epson's generic ICC profile. So it doesn't matter if we manage from the printer or software. However, let's configure the printer's setup option first. From the first tab, you will want to test different paper types. At least try three different settings, a plain paper, a glossy paper, and a mate. Uh, secondly, so we set the quality to be high quality. And then we go to more options. And the second thing we want to turn off is we want to turn off this high speed. And this is uh, whether the printer prints on the when the print is moving back, and you don't want to do that. And then you want to turn on the mirror image. I'm going to flip your image to the to the mirror for the transfer. Okay, here's the printer setting. Then for the color, and uh, we're going to want to go to a custom color, advanced. Then we turn off the color adjustment, and we say OK. Uh, by the way, um, you don't have to do turn it off because uh, you got a, uh, the Photoshop let you turn it off right here. So here it says the printer manage colors, and uh, the printer going to use this default. Uh, by the way, the BCH ink use this as default, so you can just leave it like that. Or I can say Photoshop manage colors, which is the Photoshop going to pick Epson profile. If you have a customized ICC profile, here's where you can pick it. Here's an example that we kept everything the same, but we changed the paper type. On the left, we select a plain paper setting. On the right, we select a glossy paper setting. The result is much better for the glossy setting. Again, the result depends on the brand and type of transfer paper. Some papers perform better in mate setting, and some better in glossy setting. Uh, if you make an aluminum, <coughs> if you make an aluminum plate uh, like this, uh, what you can do is I just put a plate there. Uh, you can put a plate there and uh, put a transfer paper on it, or I prefer put the transfer paper here and then put a plate on it. And then you press so you know and uh, this will be within the circle. And but for for the fabric and thicker stuff, uh, you have to put the fabric here. And uh, then you then you put it put your transfer paper on it. Okay, some printers will offer a free ICC target file, a free ICC service. So what you do is, uh, first thing you need to get this target file. And uh, uh, just paste in web browser and hit return, and uh, you're going to see this zip file. And you 
unzip. And uh, here's your target file. And the second thing you need to do is to download the the, the Adobe Color Print, print Utility. So you can download from Mac or PC. And AC, uh, ACPO, you don't need to install it. You, you don't need, need to install it. You can just click and run it from the folder. And the uh, next thing to do is uh, you're going to print this. Um, before you do that, you have to turn off the, the printer's color management, that which we covered earlier. So we hit the print first. And uh, this is the printer, and then we click properties. And uh, we do exactly like what we did before. We select the, the paper type and the quality be high. And uh, this first thing is done. The second thing is uh, we turn off the high speed. We turn on the mirror image, and the uh, third thing is we need to turn off the color management for the printer. So you go to custom and advanced, no color adjustment. Uh, the ICC uh, scanner works on a, a flat paper side surface. So if you have a, a smaller object or maybe you have a irregular shape project, object you have to find a, the same material material for example if you make a, 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 a bike plate you may be able to find a, the real license plate so you can make a you can make a transfer so after you transfer uh, we will need this piece We'll need your transfer piece, not the original transfer paper. And uh, you send this, you send this piece to us, and we're going to put in the ICC scanner. Uh, you can send us a flat plate like this, or you can send us the fabric. Uh, uh, you can send us a, a white fabric, and uh, you or you can also send send us. A, Anything that's flat, and uh, however we cannot get, uh, we cannot accept things like a mux, uh, which is curved surface, or things too small to fit in the in the, in the scanner. After you made uh, the product, the transfer product, you can you're going to send it to this address. Uh, this ICC number is the ICC dash plus your your order ID, for example, if order from order from eBay, your ID will look like a E, which means eBay E, and a, and a bunch of numbers. So when you send this in, uh, we're going to scan it, and uh, then we email you back the ICC file. We're going to send your email with uh, a direction how to install the. ICC profile and also the ICC profile itself. So after you install it, do a print. And uh, you can in the so you in the here you say Photoshop manage colors and then you can find the profile you, you installed. For example, uh, this is one profile that we, we we made. Then you select that profile, then you can print. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.ph.com or locally at this group, North Carolina. Thank you. Good day. Cheers.